I can record for nearly 39 hours? Let's get into this. So the other day, Canon dropped their new firmware version 1.3 for the Canon R5. I reviewed that firmware release and you can see that video up here in the link. In this video, I'm going to address some of your questions about record times and how I was able to run this test because my test showed my R5 recording 8K Canon RAW Lite uninterrupted for 30 minutes. Not only did my camera not overheat, the camera only stopped recording because of the internal recording limit. This is what Canon has improved on the R5 with the latest firmware update. Not only does the camera seem to be handling heat better, there have been huge improvements in media record times. Now that doesn't mean that you are ever going to be able to shoot continuously for more than 30 minutes at a time. What it does mean is that you can shoot 8K Cinema Raw light or compressed formats and get way more footage onto a card. In 8K Raw, you can record approximately 24 minutes. In 8K Cinema Raw light, 37 minutes. In 8K All Light, approximately 50 minutes. In 8K IPB, around one hour and 35 minutes. And in 8K IPB Compressed, three hours and 11 minutes. In 4K All Eye, you're going to get around two hours and 18 minutes. In 4K IPB, six hours and 22 minutes. In IPB Compressed, around 12 hours and 45 minutes. And it gets even better if you're happy to shoot in full HD, like I am sometimes. In All Eye, you can record for approximately eight hours and approximately 24 hours in IPB and nearly 39 hours in IPB compressed mode. They're staggering numbers, right? But I can hear you asking, will the footage look any good in those compressed formats? Well, I was thinking exactly the same question. So I shot a couple of quick unscientific tests. The R5 versus the Pocket 6K Pro compressed for all. People are underestimating how big this is as Red Digital Cinema owns a Loctite pattern on internal compressed RAW recordings, which has stopped many other camera companies like Sony from being able to achieve this in the past. Now I can only speculate on how and why Canon is able to do this legally. Most likely it has something to do with the Komodo having an RF lens mount and license, and obviously having access to Canon's AF autofocus through RF lenses but I have never used a RED camera that has ever allowed me to record 8K at 25p for three hours and 11 minutes on a 512 gig card. Even my new Pocket 6K Pro in 6K Brawl at 12 to one compression will only record for around two hours and four minutes on the same size card. So how does the 8K IBP compressed compare to the Pocket 6K Pro at 12 to one compression? Let's have a look. Here's the Canon 8K compressed IPB. And here's the 6K Braw 12 to 1. These are the highest resolution, longest record time options that either the R5 or the 6K Pro can offer. Both are very usable and gradable. Whether these formats are Netflix or cinema worthy is debatable. But this isn't the point that I'm trying to make. For the longest time, Canon has received criticism for their video file sizes. The new firmware has addressed this and in some sense has uncrippled the camera. The problem that still remains is the 30 minute video recording limit and poses what is most confusing about the 1.3 firmware update, being you can now record much more video data to your existing cards, but you can't record any longer at one time. So it's high time that Canon fixes this for all of us hybrid shooters. I solely use the R5 as an 8K camera. I never thought that I would, but until a couple of days ago, my hard drives were just suffering. I even built this 128 terabyte RAID to accommodate all the footage that I've been amassing. With this update, Canon have literally saved me a lot of post-production money on storage space. The R5 may still have some quirks that need to be addressed quickly, but I'll speak about them in another video. Until next time, guys, bye for now.